something that's very important to me is getting youth involved in hunting and shooting in the outdoor sports. And last night we were here at the ranch with Emma Bell. Emma is my nine-year-old mentored youth hunter. That means she's out hunting on my tag in a program that the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife designed a few years ago to help us get more kids involved in the outdoors between the ages of nine and 13. A couple of nights ago, we came in here to the ranch and we found a bunch of elk in the back meadows. So we came back in with Emma last night and we could hear a bull bugling high up on the ridges and moved into the meadows and got set up. Our hope was that the elk would feed down to us. I made a couple of cow calls and a small five by four bull came down to the edge of the meadow. He was obviously coming right to the calling, but then he hung up and he started looking kind of off to the Northwest toward the end of the meadow. Something had his attention. As soon as he spun away and took off into the trees the opposite direction, I decided that I better look down there toward the tree line. Yeah, he looks through the binoculars, sets him down, looks right at me on the camera and goes, there's a white wolf right there. I started to pan for the direction that he directed me to, and what I saw in, in my camera monitor absolutely floored me, it blew my mind. My first reaction was a little bit fearful and completely exhilarated. I had a white wolf in my camera frame for the first time in my life. I saw the first one, big white wolf. Then I kept looking and watching it. It didn't take me long to identify five different wolves, two of them with collars, uh, it looked like two adults and three of last year's pups. From there, things escalated in a hurry. We went from one wolf to two, and before we knew it, there was five of them. And we're focused on the white wolf right in front of us. And before we knew it, there were two wolves on each side of us, flanking us on the left and right. Do I just kind of stand up and spook them off, or do I want to maybe watch them and learn a little bit and get a good look at them? I want to know a little bit more about the wolves that live here on our mountain. He had no idea what was gonna happen next. All I knew is that I was not gonna turn the camera off and that I was gonna try and capture all of it. These wolves knew we were there. They could see the top of our heads and they didn't have any fear of us. I don't know if they knew we were people or not. And it was a humbling experience to, to witness and to see an animal out there that has the ability to kill in a pack like that and to know that it's on the same exact plane of existence as you are and they're getting closer and closer. Then they come within about 20 yards of us and they're just getting a little too close for comfort. So I decided I better stand up and put an end to this for safety purposes. Go on, wolf! Yeah, go on, wolf! Go on! Go on. Having wolves in the wild, regardless of which side you're on, on, it's common knowledge that this is an apex predator. They're in our forests all across the Western United States now. How often do you get to get that close to a pack of wolves? I could see the wolves right in front of me, and the whole time I was just in disbelief. That memory is instantly one of my all-time favorite experiences in the field. <laughs> Remember, you, like, you had a wolf, like, 20 yards away from you. Yeah. Oh. That was crazy. It's something I'm pretty sure I'll never forget, and I'm hopeful that Emma never forgets either.